My name is James Rogami. I am a dealer in rec vinyl records and the players. I also do restoration of players that are not working. At Kenyatta Market, shop number B5, since 1987. I started my first uh, job as an untrained teacher in Meru. And after being disappointed because of failure to get paid, I think like uh, six months, I terminated that whatever and uh, started hawking in Meru town. And after some time, after some time, I opened a small uh, clothing shop and closed it after some time because of finding that uh, almost everybody is doing the same thing. That's when I looked around Meru town and found that there was only one record shop and uh, music shop, sorry, and I decided to start mine as well. With this kind of job, it's not the kind of thing that you do uh, for the money. Vinyl records are not fast sellers. And beyond that, uh, as, you, as you know, it's like nobody else is doing it in East Africa. Uh, the nearest you can find this kind of shop is in uh, Cape Town, no, 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 Johannesburg and Cairo. And then of course in uh, Nigeria. This is the kind of job you do for the passion. Some years back, most of my family members were mad about me. I could say even uh, a lot of people have been wondering why am I still stuck in this rich or whatever and why I'm not moving with technology. But I could say we have some records here that are very, very special and very, very hard to come by. So there are some that are damn expensive because of mostly the sourcing. Because as you know, with records, we don't, I don't, we don't go buying from uh, record shops somewhere. Nobody's uh, doing their production. So I source my records from all over. People's homes, clothes, uh, uh, music shops, club, uh, pe people who are, who are suppliers all over East and Central Africa. So sometimes I have to travel a lot. And you see, I have to travel overland uh, searching in every small town and uh, close down uh, clubs. So with some, they become quite expensive, especially when I find them in, uh, let's say, an auction, an, auction, an auction where they are being auctioned. I have to buy the highest to end up with them. That is African. But Western, there is so much we have over, I think we have tens of thousands of them. The most expensive record I sold was 15,000 shillings. I would say that was a, a long play record by Manu Dibango, a jazz artist from Cameroon. The last time I closed a border looking for records is over five years ago. I went to Ethiopia and I didn't come with much. I think I came with like just over a hundred records which sold within no time. I guess now it's a question of being known all over. That's how I get records. I don't travel anymore looking for records. If you have records and you think you like to dispose of them, just carry everything. Don't wash, don't try to dust. Come with them exactly the way they are because you might destroy them when they're trying to, to wash. Just come with everything. That's when we place them on the table and sort. This will cost this much, this much, this much, this much. You get paid. Uh, you own the records, don't steal from somebody or maybe pick you at your dad's without his permission. Otherwise, we buy all records. You're welcome to our shop in Kenyatta Market, shop B5, and it is open daily, daily, 10 to 6. Maybe you could, you could be having a record player that is not working. We do restoration. No worries about that. However dead it is, you wake up.